Pra. What's up my people, my name is Spicy and today I have 6 stories coming out of the subreddit I don't work here lady. As you know already, I will be giving away 4 Amazon gift cards of either $25 or $50 once we reach the 2500 subscribers mark. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel to stay tuned when the giveaway will happen. If you are having fun with me, drop a fire emoji in the comments and like this video. You know it helps me grow the channel so I appreciate it. It helps with the engagement of the video and help me grow the channel ultimately. Congratulations Kimi for the comment of the day. Brrrra. Diffusing a Karen I've been a long time lurker on this subreddit, but I have never had an I don't work here experience myself due to the fact that I am 6'4", I weigh 250 pounds and have a pretty severe case of RBF. I did come across an I don't work here situation recently though while I am in my local Walmart. I was on my way to a wedding and had to stop and pick up some snacks. It was a potluck style reception and I was wearing standard wedding attire, white long sleeve button-up shirt, black slacks, black shoes, and a blue tie to match the bridal party. To get to the food section in this Walmart, you have to pass the cosmetics and on my way past I happen to overhear a very heated one-sided conversation. Being the nosy type, I naturally decided to check it out and what I find makes me more than a little upset. I turn into the aisle and see a middle-aged woman, hereby dubbed as Karen about 3 inches away from a young lady who could not be more than 25. Karen is screaming at this poor lady, demanding that she be shown proper respect, her needs to be met, the young woman do her job properly, etc. Typical Karen rant, the part that made me angry. My girlfriend suffers from a fairly severe panic anxiety disorder and I have had to help her through more than one panic attack and I am intimately familiar with the signs that a panic attack is coming. This poor girl getting yelled at, who is not wearing anything remotely close to a Walmart uniform, is about 30 seconds away from a meltdown, almost hyperventilating, widening eyes darting around looking for an out, fingers bleeding from having picked the skin around her nails to name a few things I noticed. Seeing her in this state definitely made me angry and I felt I had to intervene. I walked up to Karen and very gently placed the tips of my fingers on her shoulder. Excuse me ma'am, what seems to be the problem? Karen sees my outfit and apparently thinks I am a manager. Good, your employee is being unbelievably lazy and rude. I demand that you fire her immediately. I realize that she thinks I am the manager. I apologize ma'am, you have my word, I will deal with this matter right away. Before I do though, is there anything I can help you with? This lazy bimbo won't tell me where you keep the dog food. Again, I apologize for the convenience. Our dog food is kept on the L62 in the far right corner. I point to the other side of the store. Huh, about time someone did their job. Karen then glares at the poor girl she was yelling at and storms off without another word. I turn to the young woman and take a small step back and tell her in a soft voice that she's gonna be okay and that the woman is gone. She seems to have calmed down enough that she is not in immediate danger of a panic attack so I kinda smile and say, you might want to grab what you need and go. When she finds out that aisle 62 does not exist and I am not actually the manager, she is gonna have a bit more to say to me and it will probably be best if you were not around to catch anything in the crossfire. The woman looks at me confused at first, but when realization comes, she lets out a little laugh and nods. I give a friendly wave, grab my snacks and thankfully I leave before Karen finds me again. Also, don't be a bad person to strangers. Anxiety is no joke and it is fairly common. Even if you are upset, you should always try to be kind because you don't know the person you are talking to. You never know when your prudent outbursts will cause someone else severe and lasting trauma. Coffee shop regular thinks I work everywhere. I've got a short story for you today. For context, I work full time at a coffee shop in my neighborhood. Because I live closer than than any of the older managers, I am the one that gets called in if there's an emergency that needs fixing. It is also my local coffee shop so chances are you might see me there on a day off. All in all, the running joke among customers and co-workers is that I live there and sleep on a cot under the sink. So today was a beast of a day. It was one of those days where you start off with too much work and more just keeps getting piled on. 90 minutes after my shift ended and I clocked off, 
I am getting ready to finally go home. As I am leaving, the closing MOD starts complaining that nobody has replaced the knife that broke and we have been forced to just use a knife blade. I guess this was the manager. I decide if I am just going to swing by the 90 cent store half a mile down the street and grab a new one because if I don't, we will keep using the blade until it gets lost. So I pop in my headphones, let my hair down, put on some sunglasses and try to get this over with as quickly as possible so I can go home and nap. I get to the store and make a beeline for the kitchenware. Not even 2 seconds after I get in the aisle, sunglasses and headphones still on, this short old bitty rams her shopping cart into me. I look over and recognize her from the coffee shop. She is not a regular whose name I know, but I could tell you her drink the second she walks in. She says something to me which I can't hear because of the headphones. So I pause my podcast, pull one butt out and go, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I said... Are you working right now? I need your help finding something. Well, first of all, lady, every other employee is in a blue polo with the company's logo on it. I am standing in front of a shelf wearing bright red flannel with sunglasses and headphones. Does it look like I'm working right now? Second of all, you know me. We interact often at my job, the job I am at all the time. In what world would you think I am working here? I'm pretty sure she just saw me and thought, hey, there's the customer service this robot I use all the time. Let me get it to help me find the paper towels. Nothing like an r slash adult worker lady encounter to remind you you are an object and not a human. And this lady and gentlemen is a typical Karen behavior. If you are an employee at one place, you are an employee everywhere in the world. You might work at Walmart, but if you go to Starbucks or McDonald's or anywhere else, you work there as well. It's not their fault. Their tiny brain can't understand that employees are actually humans and they have one physical location to work at. No one works a thousand locations at the same time, but employees does, and Karen knows that. Henki. It was New Year's. After watching the fireworks, we made our way out the immensely crowded London street, looking out for a place that was not heaving. The streets were absolutely packed with revelers, and getting a place that did not charge for entry or have a half hour long wait was genuinely a mission. Basically anywhere with a bar and a few nibbles for some very stressed out knackered travelers, we stumbled onto this place called Henke's. Nice little restaurant, DJ whipping up some nice bangra. Decent looking people at the bar, we order our food. Absolutely delicious. After a few beers and some cocktails, we decide to go outside for a cigarette. We notice this couple that just walked in looking around. I am trying to make my way past as the path to the exit is narrow. As I squeeze my way past the girl turns to me and asks me in one breath that she wants to get a seat for two, and she recites her entire order, I immediately thought of the subreddit. I kept a straight face. As soon as she finished, I said, I don't work here. The bloke she was with just burst out laughing as I walked off. Then I realized I've cocked it up. I should have said, I don't work here, lady. How did I miss that? In summary, I had an opportunity to say the words to one of my favorite subreddit. And I basically just missed it. Come on, man. You had one job. One job to say, I don't work here, lady. And you missed it. Well, I can point fingers because it happened to me about two months ago when I went to a concert with my girlfriend. She bought me tickets, so it was awesome. And a guy came to me and I had a I don't work here lady moment. But I did not say I don't work here lady. I just said I don't work here in French. But sure enough, one day in an English speaking town, I will have the opportunity that a lady will come to me and I will say, I don't work here lady. Sorry. Bye. I am not a nurse, I am a disabled veteran. I can only guess some grunts can relate. I work with military aircraft from 1991 to 97. Long story short, threat of enemy was every day, even local. Orders on overload, my last flight did me in. Brain problems to hypoxia, chemistry, hypothermic, hyperthermic. About to sum it up. At 23, it sure looked like I had some deep thoughts going on. I still look the same at 46. I aged like beef jerky way too soon. I ended up as a patient in a neural hospital. I remember a nurse standing there as if a guard was there every time I awoke. A tray with gadgets all over it. I learned what coded meant decades later. They never told me. Maybe my gurgling heart did not need the extra facts. 
I finally got to moving around and the lady asked me if she could go outside and have a cigarette. I said, not sure, I am not a nurse. And I laughed, be it painful, and I was drooling, but it was funny. Another one asked me about her medication. I said, I don't know, I am not a nurse. Well, it was not funny after the six week and more than several patients. Sometimes the same person more than once. Decades later, I finally get into public housing. My first attempt, I met a Vietnam veteran. We hit it off as friends. His name was Louis. Stuck with a bad vehicle. I volunteered to drive him the exact 222 miles round trip to the veteran hospital. I am pushing him around in a wheelchair each visit. A doctor speaks up and says to Louis, Oh good, you brought your caretaker. He can stay in the room with you. Well, I then had to sit there and watch him go through his procedures. I could never tell the doctor. I am not a nurse. I am a disabled veteran. My neighbor died last year. If there is a calling to help someone stay alive, I think I got it. Not sure how. Since you're a veteran, and especially a disabled veteran, thank you for your service. That story was a bit bad written, but I think we understood most of it. I'm sorry if it was a bit hard to understand, but I will try my best to pick stories that are well written. Dress the part. I went to REI on a day off in the middle of the week to go do some browsing. As someone whose job involves teaching dance, my wardrobe typically consists primarily of leggings and sport bras. So I enjoy when I get to wear normal people clothes. I pulled out my favorite green baggy jacket and tossed it over a tank, threw on some jeans and headed to the store. Since I do not like carrying a purse, my keys are on a lanyard. I throw over my neck sometimes while my phone and wallet go in my pocket. So I am browsing some clothes when someone comes up to me holding a shirt and asks if the store has any mediums in stock. I laugh and say, I don't work here. And they smile, shrug, and move along. I keep browsing. And two minutes later, someone new comes up to me, asking where they can find something. Again, I laugh, mention I don't work here, and point out the nearest employee. No harm. Couple minutes after that, a third person walks up to me, asking about an item. I am baffled at this point, wondering if I have an aura of REI employee that attracts people to me. I mention I don't work here and the lady looks over at an employee then back at me and says, oh sorry, but you are dressed exactly like the people here. I look over and sure enough, they are all wearing military green vest, jeans and lanyard over their necks. And that's the day I learned I dress exactly like an REI employee. Oh and by the way, REI is Recreational Equipment Inc. No, I didn't know, I had to google it. I know, I'm lame. I am just a young guy stuck on the internet. I don't go to physical stores. Who does that nowadays? <laughs> Well, to be honest, I don't buy a lot of stuff and most of the stuff I need is on Amazon. Otherwise, I just go to the grocery store for my food. But no worries, I am not a simulation stuck on the internet. I'm a real person. Look, here I will do my most honest human voice. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Sorry, not the sommelier. Maybe it is the triple digit temperature or the fact that my daughter has requested a Christmas in July. Movie night, but winter and an I don't work your lady moment from Christmas past is on my mind. Perhaps the first mistake was parking on the side lot, an unofficial employee parking area of the local Giant Beagle. The combination of last minute and French toast shoppers for the impeding weekend winter blast made me thankful that our office had closed early so I could get in and get out before things became more rowdy than it already was. With a determined pace, I march into the grocery sans coat. I can't be the only one that just keeps it in the car for a short run, yeah? Grab a cart, threw my phone, keys and wallet in the tom compartment and headed straight for the wine section. This will be my second mistake, as my outfit consisted of black slacks, blouse, blazer, and pumps, instead of obligatory Midwest winter gear. Much like my minimalist wardrobe, long ago my husband and I decided to keep it simple with gifting to our friends. Each family unit gets a bottle of their preferred bubbly for the parents, a gift card to a restaurant for the family, and then candies for the kids. This is why the top rack of my grocery cart became filled with wine and why I was on my knees reaching to the back of the shelf a la Chronicle of Narnia to grab the last non-refrigerated bubbly Moscato. As I emerged with the bottle, I sensed a mom with her two teens hovering nearby. Thinking that perhaps my cart was in the way, 
I apologized and moved the cart to the outside end cap while I continued down my mental checklist. Do you recommend that one? The mom asked, pointing to the two bottles of champagne now in my arm. It's okay, but not my top pick. Then again, these are not for me and you really can't beat this price point. Okay, then what do you like? I am more of a Shirley Temple or pop person myself, but sometimes I will drink a nice Moscato. Her mom increasingly annoyed her teen's daughter starting to take notice of the situation. What do you mean? I am starting to realize that she was not just making small talk. I don't really drink ma'am. I am probably not the best person to ask. The mom keeps looking at me with her continued confused glance. Are you kidding me? You're joking, right? No ma'am, these are gifts, but sometimes they have a sommelier over at the wine bar that can assist. Hope that helps. Mom, let's just go ask. The mom interrupting her daughters, about to say something clever based on her expression. Oh, you don't work here? And then it dawned on her as she looked at my badge. I don't, in fact, work there. I saw the rage shrivel inside her as she slinked away following her girls to the craft beer section. Thankfully, a peaceful resolution, and I am not going to lie, I am a bit flattered that I look classy enough to be a sommelier. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. I post at 10 a.m. Eastern time every single day. I want to thank you for watching my videos. Thank you, you, for liking the video, for commenting, for sharing, for subscribing, and everything that you do with me. This really helped me a lot, and I appreciate what you do for me. So from my own heart, thank you, I really appreciate it, and I wish you all a beautiful day. And I hope you're doing your best to reach your dreams, live a fulfilled life, stop procrastinating, and love the people around you.